Dream Ahead, a dream horse, and he's way too good. It's Golden Cobra, Dream Ahead, they're stride for stride. Dream Ahead is getting there easily. Oh, he's gone on for a wonderful win. New to Bally Lynch stud for 2012, and without doubt one of the most exciting stallion prospects to have retired to stud in Europe in recent years, is the brilliant Dream Ahead. During his nine race career, Dream Ahead amassed a hugely impressive haul of five Group 1 victories from six to seven furlongs. From the moment he made a winning debut by nine lengths in a Nottingham Maiden, Dream Ahead's stellar potential was there for all to see. And by the end of his career, only one of his contemporaries, Frankel, had won as many races at the highest level. Pitched into Group 1 company for his second start, Dream Ahead was a commanding winner of the pre morny where he defeated a field headed by the subsequent French 2000 Guineas winner, Tin Horse. We didn't really know what the opposition was like, but um, he was showing plenty at home and we thought we'd take our chance. And he was very professional in the morning and, and won very, very well. It went very much to plan. He travelled very well and quickened up on ground that was actually much quicker than we thought it would be. You know, they did a minute eight, which is fast for six furlongs. And, you know, it was, it was a very special day. Even better still was to come, though. Much more important just to win this. This is prestige as they jump away, and they're very well grouped together as they race past the three, past halfway. As Dream Ahead produced one of the performances of 2010 by annihilating his rivals in the Group 1 Middle Park Stakes at Newmarket, where he crossed the line with a stunning nine lengths to spare over the Coventry winner Strong Suit and Jim Crack winner Approve. But look at Dream Ahead now on the outside, shaken up, making it look easy as they race into the dip, out of the dip now. Dream Ahead strikes on from Strong Suit and he's left them standing. It's Dream Ahead. He's way too good. Dream Ahead, a dream horse, wins the Middle Park. Brilliant. Second, it's time. Quite strong suit and approve. He's an amazing horse. He really is, you know. I mean, he gives you a feel like like no other horse has ever given me, you know. Well, Unbelievable. He, he, he swallows them up, you know. Yeah. It's he's an amazing horse to ride. Dream Ahead's performances at two were enough to see him crowned joint European champion two-year-old alongside Frankel. A rating of 126 at the end of his juvenile career meant that Dream Ahead was assigned a mark which has only been better twice over the last 20 years. Furthermore, it made him the equal of such outstanding two-year-old champions as New Approach and Johannesburg. At three, Dream Ahead continued to carry all before him, as he emerged as a sprinter of rare quality and consistency. His first Group 1 success of the year came in the July Cup. Always travelling well under a patient ride by Hayley Turner, for whom this was to be a richly deserved first Group 1, Dream Ahead quickened again to win impressively. And the field coming across towards the stand side for the first time this week. And it's Lebrano who's back the rail from Amico Fritz Oracle to the outside of Bated Breath and then El Zarm in the blue and white jacket. Star Witness poking through Jimmy Styles. Doesn't look the maddest gallop. War Artist on the far side with Dalgar. In behind them is Hitchens in a pink cap. Delegator is held up. Monsieur Chevalier being scrubbed along. Dream Ahead in the pink jacket on the near side on the rail. Further back is Regal Parade. Uh, also towards the back is now Genki and Winker Watson as they head down inside the final quarter mile. And it's going to be a burn up through the final stages here. And Baited Breath coming through, quickening well from Lebrano. Then Hitchens, Delegator unleashing a run from the back with Star Witness. War Artist on the far side. Baited Breath now, Dream Ahead coming through under Hayley Turner. It's Baited Breath from Dream Ahead. And Dream Ahead is getting there easily. Oh, he's gone on for a wonderful win in the July Cup. What class! Dream Ahead's performance was a demonstration of pure class. And that victory meant that Dream Ahead had emulated the now leading sire Oasis Dream in winning both the Middle Park Stakes and the July Cup, the only two horses to accomplish the double for over 30 years. A further top level success was to come in the Haydock Sprint Cup in September where he defeated another quality field of sprinters. We decided to ride him more aggressively. Um, we had him handier, we rode him up with the pace and we did hit the front far, far too early. And it gave him chance to look around and, you know, all credit to the horse and William that he held on to win.
They're inside the two. Dream ahead. The July Cup winner strikes the front but shifts left, wandering about as he often does. Bated Breath is coming after him. Dream ahead and Bated Breath. Hoof it. He's challenging late now. It's Dream ahead finding a little bit extra still. All over the shop here. A difficult ride and giving it away. Bated Breath on the near side. Hoof it on the far side. Close home. It's going to be very close. Dream Ahead's victory meant he is the first horse to land the July Cup Haydock Sprint double since Ajdal in 1987, but there was better still to come. For the final start of his career, Dream Ahead was up to seven furlongs for the Group 1 Prix de la Forêt, where his rivals were headed by the incomparable record-breaking mare, Goldie Kova. That's it, they're ready, set, they stand, racing. We always had it in the back of our minds at seven furlongs and we decided to go to the foray and um, you know he trained very well up to that and um, it was probably his most professional performance you know he raced very well traveled super um, they went a nice pace the fractions were exceptional and he probably won a little bit more comfortably than the, the official head yet again dream ahead proved equal to the task at hand and he showed all his trademark toughness to come out the right side of a thrilling last furlong duel to defeat the great French champion by a head. Just over three furlongs to go, and it's the second winning post. Into the home straight now, and it's Flash Dance out in front, setting a really good clip now from Warthard up on the outside. In behind them is Goldicova going well. Further back in the field, Dream Ahead sitting in their slipstream. Further, further, further back, Diva Dream has broken down and has dropped right out. Halfway up the home straight, and Goldicova got through on the inside. Warthard is now challenging, and here's Dream Ahead on the outside. Goldicova, the champion mare, she gets down to fight here as Dream Ahead on the outside comes at her. It's Golden Cobra and Dream Ahead. They're stride for stride. She's sticking her neck out. She's a champion. She's just in front. Now another lunge from Dream Ahead. They hit the line. Maybe Dream Ahead. It's very tight. Dream Ahead and Golden Cobra in a photo. A son of the top class diktat and out of the crack sprinter land of dreams, Dream Ahead's family is all speed. His first three dams were all top class sprinters. Dream Ahead retires as the winner of six of his nine races, with five of those victories coming at Group 1 level, and a time form rating on his retirement of 133. He's a very imposing horse, a very expressive horse. He comes out in the morning, um, shows a real well-being, and, you know, he has to be like that. Um, but generally, he's a very, very straightforward horse to deal with. Probably his biggest asset is he's a wonderfully sound horse. You know, we've never had a problem with him in soundness issues. Confirmation-wise, he's very muscular, terrific amount of length to him. And, you know, you, you look at him every day and you admire him. A champion at two and a brilliant sprinter at three, Dream Ahead has firmly established himself as one of the very best racehorses to have emerged from his generation. And he genuinely represents one of the most exciting recent additions to the European stallion ranks.